A new court ruling could help consumers to remove black marks from their credit files, which they think shouldn't be there. The defaults are put on the files by banks when consumers miss payments on their loans. But sometimes people are entitled to stop making payments because their original loan agreement has mistakes in it. Even so, banks have sometimes continued to treat them as if they were in debt, which means people then find it hard to get any other loans or even open a new bank account somewhere else. Well, the new ruling was won by 78-year-old Brian Grace from uh, Ellesmere Port in Cheshire against Black Horse, which is part of Lloyds Bank. Well, Paul Tilly from Harriet Clark Solicitors worked on Brian's case. I, I spoke to him earlier and I asked him how a credit agreement does become unenforceable. There are numerous things that can make an agreement unenforceable. For example, if the lender fails to state accurately the APR or misstates the interest rate, it's very difficult to highlight one point. But technical mistakes, basically. Indeed. indeed. Well, in, in some circumstances, technical, yes. So what loan did Brian have and why did he stop making payments? Well, Brian had a higher purchase agreement to purchase a laptop. Everything went well to begin with, as I understand it, but there was difficulties which arose out of the account, which ended up in the lender taking Brian to court. It's important to note that those difficulties were not Brian's inability to pay. He was able to service the account, but there was just confusion over the account, which led to legal proceedings. Right. And how did this issue about the defaults, as far as Brian were concerned, the black marks on his account, how did that arise? Well, what happened, Brian ended up with initially a default judgment against him and then took the matter to to trial. Brian succeeded at trial in defending the case and the court declared his credit agreement was irredeemably unenforceable and that, that he no longer had to pay. But that was the beginning of the problem because the creditor placed a default on his credit file indicating that he had failed to maintain his payments. And in addition, that default also included the cost of the claim which had been awarded against the creditor. Well, I spoke to Brian Grace earlier and he told me how he discovered the default was on his credit file. I applied for a bank account. I was refused. I said, well, why? And they just said, I did not meet their criteria. And then I sent away from my credit file because I thought there was something wrong here. How did you try to remove it? I got Experian involved and they wrote and said this entry is wrong and they said it's correct even though they knew it wasn't the judge had told them to remove it leave it on don't touch it. So Paul Tilly why did you pick up Brian's case? I'm a moderator on uh, one of the internet forums uh, Legal Beagles and I was asked to assist Brian and when I I looked in on Brian's case uh, I felt that there was significant merit that the, the default that had been recorded against him was, was wrong. There was a court order that said he did not have to pay. And to stigmatise someone by sticking a default on their credit file, in essence, is, is wrong, in, in my view. Right. So you managed to get this case to court. What does the judgment say and, and what does that mean for other consumers? Well, the result of this judgment is that the Court of Appeal has given some clear guidance to the banking industry that it is not accurate to report on a debtor's credit file that they are a defaulter if the court has found that the credit agreement underlying it is unenforceable. And that extends to whether the parties have agreed that the agreement is unenforceable. It is stereotyping them, tarring them with the same brush uh, as someone who perhaps is a serial debt avoider who who just borrows money with the intention of not repaying it. It's quite a complex case. Is this going to affect a lot of people, do you think? There are people out there who are suffering the same fate as Brian. Brian is not the exception to the rule here. I must point out he he is very much the rule. We are seeing a lot of people who have legitimately challenged their creditors for a number of reasons and are now being told that if they do not pay, then their credit file will be defaulted. It's putting them in, a, in between a rock and a hard place. Either you follow your rights to court and you are entitled then to stop paying, at which point your credit file will be trashed for six years, or the alternative you've got is to pay a debt that you do not have to pay. And, and that's not really any choice at all. 
Paul Tilley from Howlett Clark Solicitors. Well, we've spoken to Black Horse, which is part of Lloyds Bank. They say they're still considering the implications of the ruling and they can't say much more at this time.